morning, welcome to the next episode of Fossil Adventures. First day of um, autumn today, I've got to get my words right, but it's a nice day. So me and Mark have come out to uh, North Yorkshire looking for dinosaur footprints again. Uh, Chris isn't with us because it's his birthday and he's been told he can't go fossiling, so there you go. Uh, wish us luck, we'll see what we can find. All right, it's just... Well, it's quite all preservation, yeah. Yeah. Mark was just saying about the preservation, but if you do find footprints, they're in the sandstone blocks, like this one, which has fell out the cliff, where the uh, where the beds are, further up there. So it falls out, but with them being sandstone, they're very soft, and they don't last long. Obviously, the tide comes right into the bottom of the cliff here, and um, it's got a lot of energy in it and it some wears the footprints away so if you do find them they tend to wear out very quickly especially on the, the smaller rocks nice to be out though Mark plant material in there as well obviously not worth keeping but just goes to show so this this would have all been riverbed as this was a, a delta flowing out into the north sea and it went quite a way out over there so all the sandstones off the um, riverbed possibly some trace fossils in there Trace burrows. If you can see them. If you remember the last time I was here, that's where I nearly yeah, trod on that dead seal. Made me jump. <laughs> I was that busy concentrating, looking for footprints, I wasn't aware of my environment. Fortunately, well, no, unfortunately it was dead, but so it made me jump and I was sure if it was alive it wouldn't let me get that close to it without making a noise at least. But you don't want to get too near them, you see how dangerous. We just need to go a little bit further um, <coughs> before we get to the, the right beds, I think. But there's a chance of something in here. We've just got to get our eye in, haven't we, Mark? Today. Oh, we're just uh, downwind now of another uh, dead seal, just about in the same place as last time, and it's uh, a bit ripe. But there we go. Uh, I just thought I'd put the camera back on just to uh, have a look at that. Look, that's a piece of uh, riverbed. You can see the um, waves as it's been put on the sand. It's quite nice, that. I quite like that. 
can get a good picture of that. The seal does um. <laughs> Oh, it feels right, it stinks. And uh, is it still, is it, what if there's another one? Oh, it's just the wind, it's uh, blowing across here, it's really bad. That's why you don't need smell o vision I think. Some more uh, riverbed there, I think. I mean, there's marks in some of these, you see. I don't know if you can pick these up, but there could be some type of print or something. But, and I've said before, I'm not uh, an expert by any means, and unless it actually looks really like a fossil footprint, uh, we're a bit stuffed. Oh, little bird just flew out from down there. I think there's some trace fossils in there of burrows maybe. plastic bottles as well kicking about but we'll collect some of them on the way back
So, no luck so far. Just goes to show maybe that last time when we was here how exceedingly lucky we were. We found quite a few footprints really. Knowing now, look, there'll be a footprint on top of that block there. Don't know if I get that in my rucksack, though. Don't need to be stood near these cliffs, really, but. Wood in there, fossil wood remains. Oh, yeah, so there's more, more uh, plant remains in here. That big block, and that what Mark spotted there is quite unusual. Um, I would think so, some of the trackways of maybe invertebrate or something, or I don't know. It's interesting though. If anyone knows and wants to let us know, that would be great. Little piece in it. Yeah, we'll leave that though, Mark. Mac was panicking there because he thought he found a nodule. <laughs> it's come a fair way, if it has, it's come from uh, up north. This is non round here in this material. Yeah, I bet they were a few tons. So Mark was just spotted, spotted these out here. Some remains of, uh, I don't know, burrow or plant material. And then uh, I just picked up a little crinoid block. There you go, it's packed full of little crinoid stems. I wasn't going to take it, but Mark said we should cut and polish it, so. Sorry, I mean, uh, Chris should cut and polish yeah. it for us. Cheers, Chris. <laughs> Cheers, Chris. <laughs> and so 
some more of that material in this block as well. just come across this huge boulder um, which looks like a chunk of concrete but it, obviously it's not um, yeah I don't know it's it's well, well it's solid all different material if anyone knows what it is or why it's here if they'd have been smooth I'd have maybe said it was like riverbed or something like that but they're not they're all jagged and different shapes and but it's solid And there's nothing else like it around here. But it's just a big lump. Now it's got sand in it. Yeah. If any budding geologists out there want to give us a shout, that'll be appreciated. You can see that's all old bed as well on there. You can see where the ripple marks are on these large blocks here. I presume that's what they are. Just a bit. 